All right, my friends, let's do a top 10 video. Number one, don't go to Sanctuary, it's a trap. Now at some point in the tutorial, you're gonna to get told to get on the Sanctuary Tuttle uh, in order to continue your tutorial. Now you can do that just to get rid of those tutorial steps, but you should immediately come back uh, to Alioth and claim a tile here. Now how do you do that? Well, you wanna go ahead over to the market and pick up a uh, territory claim which if I open my market thing here by hitting J and hit territory it's this right here the territory unit so you can pick one up at district 6 or district 7 uh, for 70,000 um, so I would say pocket your free speeder run back here use the teleporters that are located just across from the tutorial stations to go to the marketplace that has the best price for a territory unit, pick up a territory unit, and find yourself a spot on Alioth to start building. That way you are not limited to how much ore you can mine, uh, you are not limited to how large you can build, and you don't get stuck there after spending a ton of time developing your base and or factory and then have to break it all down and come to Aerlioth anyway. So you might as well start off here. Um, just as a note, if you are a brand new player, you're going to want to put points into your equipment manager, no, into your inventory manager and nanopack upgrades. Get two points in nanopack upgrades right off the bat and you'll be able to put that territory claim unit right in your inventory hop on your speeder and go find yourself your own tile now if you did the tutorials you'll know how to place that if not i would say check out my new player starter guide it goes through all of that stuff right and if you open the map and you look at the territories you want to find something that's not red uh, for you to claim just as a note if you go down closer to the equator here in the desert, you'll get more sunlight than if you build up near the polar ice caps. You're gonna get like a couple hours of sunlight and mostly darkness, um, which is where the Chimera base is. And it's super fun because we have to use a lot of lights most of the time uh, to be able to build things. So in retrospect, that's probably why a lot of people build in the desert. Number two graphics settings so this game is a hardware hog it is not very well optimized yet as it is still in beta and they're trying to get new systems online before worrying too much about optimization now there is some optimization for the new uh, container storage um, for voxels coming in in the next patch so we'll see how that affects things but even if you have one of those brand new 3000 series graphics cards well you probably still need to lower your graphics settings so what do we need well you want to lower your number of threads down to two you want to turn off your motion blur depth of field and volumetric clouds hmm, that's a new one i'm gonna turn that one down too i don't need to see decors at that distance um your voxel quality you can leave up uh, you'll want to put your environmental shadows at low and your dynamic shadows at medium and that should fix a lot of fps droppage issues um, also don't worry about any of these post process effects that's going to cause your computer to hate you even more so yeah graphic settings it will make your life a lot easier number three VR resets your skill points. So this is currently a bug. It may be fixed at the time you're watching this video, but there's an easy way to check. So I have just come back from my trip to VR. Um, let me show you that I have four points 
in primary container augmentation which allows me should allow me to get a thousand or more meters away from my main container before I lose my link. I currently have my container set to the container in the hangar. <clears throat> so let me demonstrate this. Now you will still see your your skills and all that stuff. So it doesn't visually reset your skills and you don't have to put points back into it. But what happens is it doesn't count any of these levels. So if I go over towards this container, you'll see I just hit my container range. And if I go back over here, I lost my container range. With my skills, I should be able to make it all the way over to the Chimera Shipwork showroom over there and still be connected to that container. So as you can see, and uh, my skills are now not counting because I went to VR. And this is every skill. So if you're suddenly wondering why you're mining so slow when you have like tier five mining, it's because you probably just came back from VR. The only way that I know to fix this is to log out and log back in. Number four, make an org to manage your cores. Now, a unique thing about this game is that you can be in up to four different organizations, which means that you can create your own organization to manage your own cores. How do you do this? Well, you hit F3 to go to the menu, you click on create, and you put in all this information. Now there is a creation fee of 500,000. So as soon as you get that 500,000, you can create your own organization and you can add your designs or cores or blueprints or whatever you want to that organization to allow you to have more cores. Now, alternatively, you can go into mining and inventory here. You can go into architect and you can increase your level in core unit upgrades, which will give you a plus two max active core units on your player. But if you go down here to organization construct management, well, if we look at that, for every level in organization construct management, you can have plus five cores. So right now I can have 10 cores um, in my other organization. So some ships I can put in there. And if you ever get that pop up that says you have too many cores, you can't deploy another one. Well, that's what it means. You need to either put your points into core unit upgrades or create an organization and put some points into construct management. Number five, don't buy blueprints in VR. This cannot be said enough. If you like to donate to people and not get anything in return then sure get one in vr but otherwise do not buy blueprints in vr instead if you're in vr and you see something that you like and you want to come get it in person you can simply open your map click center on position scroll all the way in right click and set as uh sorry bookmark location That way, you can come back with your ship and get the blueprint and not waste your money. Number six, dump your cash. So, sometimes the game gets a little wonky. Maybe it's having some issues rendering. Maybe it's giving you some random FPS drops where you shouldn't be getting FPS drops, like out in the middle of the desert with nobody around. Or maybe when you click on this button, it doesn't do anything or it fails. At that point, you want to dump your cash. So if you go up here to the top corner where it says debug settings, click on that button to drop the drop down menu. Click on delete cash, select yes, and log in. This will fix a lot of issues. In fact, I delete my cash every time I log in. Number seven how to spawn compacted ships. So, depending on how you have your hotbar set up, you may want to spawn a compacted ship. 
and you may get an error if I try to spawn my compacted ship, which is this little pill icon here. If I click equip, it's going to say no tool equipped can use this item. And that may be frustrating. You may be going, but I, what? Well, this tool right here, deploy construct, it is a little box with a plus sign. You need to drag that to your hot bar. And as soon as you do that, you can click on equip and you get the blue box. Yay. Now, another problem you might have is that you're linked to another container. If I go ahead and I link to my linked container and I try to deploy my construct, I'm going to get nothing. I can click on it all day and I don't get anything. And you might be going, ah, my stuff is bugged. Well, first check if you're linked to a container. If you are linked to into a container, you can drop your, uh, you can put that in the container. Nope, you can't remove that item from your pack. So yeah, always unlink your container and then you see the blue box shows up and click and deploy. And if you're wondering how to compact in the first place, well, you can hit Alt B or click right here, Construct Compactification. If I click that, I get the message that it was a success and it goes in my inventory. Only certain ship sizes can be compacted. If I tried to compact this medium core, for instance, it will say, eh, -eh. so it has to be a small ship it can't have more than three engines and it can't have any cargo on it so if you're if you're getting a no message it might be too big to compact but that is how compactification works number eight get a radar so you want to get a radar as soon as you can when you're flying a ship slap it on your ship anywhere it doesn't matter link it to your seat it could mean the difference between you hitting a tower and not hitting a tower. So as you can see, this is with no radar on. If I turn my radar on, whoop, there is a tower there that I did not see. So get yourself a radar. Oh my God, space tower, ah! Number nine, don't buy ships from the UEF store. So a little history, the UEF store was set up for new players that were coming into alpha and uh, didn't have anything to get around. And there's some uh, there's some pretty cool designs in here. They, there's some really cool uh, looking ships. Uh, maybe not that one. Um, some like helmety ships or whatever. Uh, however, as the game improved, people were able to make better and more capable ships. So these are a little overpriced in my opinion and you can get a better hauler cheaper that can haul more cargo um, than most of these like if we look at this hauler uh, it's only got four wings which I can tell you from experience is not enough to lift uh, even like 200 tons so buyer beware um, you might want to visit some ship stores which brings us to our next number number 10 get or buy a starter hauler so i have a video that is up on the channel on how to create your own little starter hauler with just components but if you're looking to just buy instead of build because you can't be bothered or you're just not that into building well find a vr pod and go check out some player ships. That's right. Find a VR pod, which are available in most markets. And if you click on them, you'll get a bunch of options. So for this video, we're gonna go to Chimera Shipworks Showroom. So if I click on this right here, Chimera Shipworks Showroom, and I connect, it's going to take me over to the Chimera Shipworks showroom. We'll wait till everything pops in. Again, do not buy blueprints in VR. Obviously, if you skipped that step, then go back and look at that, and it will tell you how to locate a location once you find yourself in VR. But if we go over here to the extra small core ships, and we go upstairs, 
you can see we've got a couple options here. We've got a, uh, a rescue crash, which just has a couple cargo containers. Um, we've got the Ixian starter hauler, which can carry 800 tons and is only 1.5 million for a fully tokenized uh, ship. And we have the Ixian Warp Shuttle, which is a small warp shuttle that can get you around for a low cost and also carry some cargo. But if you're looking for something bigger, we can go down to the small ships core and we have a couple options here. We've got the Claim Jumper, which has three medium cargo containers and can carry quite a bit of ore. We've got the Mutineer, which can carry up to one kiloton and has this awesome styling, right? That is 10 million. And we have a starter scanner ship, which is 13 million. And we have this uh, Atmo hauler beachcraft here, which is 6 million. So bunches of choices, but I would say go for the 800 ton one if you can afford it. Uh, if you did all the tutorials, you'll have a bit bunch of money to spend and all of these ships are boosted, but you don't have to only come here. You can go to any showroom if you type showroom into VR. Let's get out of here. You'll get a whole slew of different places that you can go to. So, you know, to follow up with saying don't buy from the UEF store don't buy from the UEF store. Go to player shops, find out where they are, visit them in VR. If you just type in showroom, right? We've got a bunch of showrooms here that you can go through and visit and see all these great creations uh, by creators from around the game. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to smack that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and or click the notification button so you can get notified every time I drop a new video, which is pretty much every other day these days. Otherwise, I will see you out there in space. Stay safe.